What is up YouTube? This is Owen Dowell here and today I'm going to be doing a new Zippo video and it's pretty clear which one this is. This is the new 2021 collectible of the year that Zippo has released. It took them a little while longer than they usually do to get one of these out. Um, I almost was kind of wondering if we were going to even see one this year but finally got it and here it is. It is as you can see by the box uh, celebrating Art Deco, which is really, really cool. And the neat thing about this one is that there's actually three different models uh, of this, um, but it, they're region specific. Now, because I'm in America, it was the easiest for me to get the American version. They also make a, uh, a one for Africa, Middle East, uh, Europe areas. And then they have a third one, which out of the three is probably my favorite for uh, the Asia uh, area. This is the American one though. In fact, if you take a look at the back, you'll see on the model number, this is collectible of the year, America's 2021 model 49500. Now this is numbered. I cannot remember offhand how many of these they made, but they, I, I wanna say there are 5,000 of the American ones. And then I also wanna say that the uh, European slash Africa slash uh, Middle East one is also 5,000. Or no, that one might be that one might be the three thousand one. I cannot remember these numbers off the top of my head, guys. I do apologize. And then the uh, for some reason the uh, the uh, Asian one I think is actually one of the more common ones. I think it's also five thousand. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's crack this open. I have not looked at it yet. There's the uh, the back, pretty standard. We do have our cancer warning as usual. Like I say, I have not taken the chance to pop into this yet. So let's see what we got. So we got a, we actually have, ooh, that's kind of neat in there. Uh, we have uh, an over, like a, a, a separate box here, kind of like last year. Ooh, check the box out. Look at that. Salute to 100 years of Art Deco. I love it. Zippo collectible of the year. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. What a cool box. There's the back. I'm gonna let y'all take a look at that for yourselves. I'll just hold it here for a few seconds. Just pause the video if you wanna read that. Limited edition, 2021. Does it say on here how many how many of each of these we made? I don't, I don't see it. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Guys, I'm dying to see this. Let's go ahead and check this out. <clears throat> if I can. Oh, we do have a little foam thing. Oh, oh, this is interesting. So here we've got uh, the Zippo Genuine uh, Zippo product hologram. We have a little bit of paperwork in here, which is, I've not seen that for a um, for one of the uh, collectibles of the year. Is this a booklet or is it just, <coughs> is it just, <coughs> excuse me, a little card? It looks like it's a little card. Your Zippo 21 collectible of the year is inset with a genuine Golden Shadow Swarovski Crystal. Only 5,000 lighters featuring this kite-shaped crystal were produced. That is the thing that distinguishes the various regions. So the American one is going to have one that's kind of a golden color. The uh, European one has a black one, which I really like. Um, it, it's kind of a black, darker, kind of a smoky look to it and then the eastern like uh or the eastern asian one is uh really cool because it it almost kind of has like the um oh shoot it's kind of got like a, a bluish kind of a rainbow look i forget the name of the rock oh opal it reminds me of like opal but it's not it's not opal but that's kind of what it reminded me of when i saw it on the website so yeah that one is one of my favorites i don't know if i'm ever going to get around to getting one i think at the moment i'm just going to focus on just this one uh, but we'll see if I ever want to complete the collection in the future. So the guarantee, which, you know, <laughs> pretty standard stuff. And underneath, whoa, oh, wow. <laughs> there it is, the 2021 Collectible of the Year. Look at that, man, Zippo is killing it with their 360 stuff. And check out that crystal that is beautiful 
Whoa. It almost looks like it's floating right there. Nice. I know some people would like to maybe buy, you know, some people are not afraid. I, I personally don't do this, but some people are not afraid to actually carry their collectible of the years. Um, I am, I'm going to, I'm going to be completely honest. I, I, I'm just going to say, I don't, I don't know this for sure because I've never actually handled one of these. I would be very worried about this crystal maybe falling off in your pocket. So I would kind of discourage the uh, idea of carrying this, but you certainly could. It's a fully functional lighter. So what, I mean, if you really, really want to use it, why not? So let's take it out. Looks like it's on an ebony. I think this is ebony and not black eyes. It's definitely darker. There's my number. Oh, and that's interesting. They actually give you the uh, region specific um, number. Now that's a lot higher than I thought I was, I was gonna get. This is actually the first collectible of the year that I bought on Zippo Direct. I kind of forgot that Amazon also gets them in. So I did not even think to look there. And I do apologize about the background noise. I am right next to a parking deck. Um, I had forgotten that uh, these also pop up on Amazon. So uh, if you want one of these, check Amazon. You might be able to find one for a little bit cheaper than you would on Zippo's website. In fact, they may even have the uh, various region uh, versions on there as well. And check out that gold-plated insert. I love it. I love how these collectibles of the year come with these really, really nice gold-plated inserts. Super shiny. Looks like a piece of jewelry. I mean, seriously, that's insane. It's really intensely shiny and beautiful. Let's take out when it was made. It was made in January of 2021, as you can see. And it looks like, I know in one of my last videos, I made the comment that Zippo's dating charts have uh, actually ended on the year 2020. And it looks like they are continuing the traditional uh, designating the year was made with a number. So that's pretty cool. I kind of figured they would. I didn't think they were going to change it up. I think when Zippo's going to change it up is when we actually roll into the next century because uh, at that point uh, is when Zippo started doing the uh, current the current system. And uh, if Zippo were to like maintain the number thing, we would have lighters that have the 06 designation, for example, that would be made in either 2006 or 2106. So just a, just kind of a ramble there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why I got into that. Here we have the bottom stamp, which does not show you the month because this is the uh, this is one of their special uh, collectibles of the year. So you don't get the month; you get the uh, the ZL designation right there, right there. And Bradford, PA, made in USA. Check this thing out. I think this is actually gold inlay as well. I'm having a hard time telling. But I really think it is. I mean, that matches up pretty close. Wow. I'm, I am super impressed with this thing, guys. Like I say, the other crystals do exist. I may, if I, if I can, I'll probably try to throw a little picture of some of the other models so that you can see what that looks like. And yeah, one more really good look here. Let's see, I'm gonna pop to the uh, telephoto and maybe we can get a better, better look at that crystal. Absolutely stunning. I love this thing a lot. Yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. I really, I really do. I think this is really cool. You can also see because this is a collectible of the year, Zippo went ahead and gave us the sticker separate to, um, oh, there goes my Swarovski, <laughs> my little Swarovski designator. Um, Whoa, it does a thing again. That's weird. I had a Swarovski, this is not my first Swarovski Zippo. My first Swarovski uh, crystal Zippo had this crystallized thing on it, and I thought this was a misprint where it goes like crystal lot, crystallized. You barely can barely tell what it, what it says. It actually kind of looks like it says crystallicity because <laughs> that kind of starts to turn into a Y in my brain. I don't know. Huh, weird. That's not a misprint. I don't know the significance of that, actually. But there you go. Anyway, what I was saying is that when you do get a collectible of the year uh, Zippo or like just a higher end Zippo in general, they will put the sticker on a separate piece of paper like this. So that way, if you want to put it on, you can. 
but this kind of does designate that, yeah, I bought this brand new. I just didn't want to have this ship covered. So that's, that's why they do that. Um, also, one more little tip that I am going to do with this one. Uh, on these luxury boxes, this little side box here is removable. Uh, it is, there's nothing really significant about it. You can take it out, though. Sometimes. It's not easy, but it's doable. There we go. Just comes out like that. It took a little bit of effort, but I, you can do it without damaging things. But what you can do with, with that is you can actually take your guarantee, which kind of ruins the presentation a little bit, and just sort of fold it up into like a, a nice small shape, and you can store that under the box. So that way you have it. You don't necessarily need the guarantee. It doesn't really serve any purpose other than just to explain what Zippo's guarantee does. But now you can you can keep it with a lighter, but it's going to be unobtrusive and hidden. Yes. Which I think is a pretty cool deal. Look at that. What a stunning, stunning lighter. I love this thing so much. This is absolutely my new favorite Zippo I own. Like, 100%. This is so cool. I am back. I just wanted to quickly show you my other collectible of the year that I have. I do have last year's collectible as well, the one that celebrates Zippo's new logo. So if I take this out, you can see that's what that looks like. Another 360 cut. Really, really beautiful design. Uh, interesting thing with mine, as you can see, you see that little flap there? You know what that is? Oh, it just I just lost it. Um... That actually came off of the insert. Look, I have no clue why or how that happened. I'm going to be honest, this did live in its box for like most of the year. I do not know why a piece of gold just randomly flaked off. And I, like I say, I don't really pull the insert in and out that much. So one thing just to kind of keep in mind, keep an eye on your, uh, your Zippo inserts that are gold plated. I don't know how, how durable the uh, gold plating is going to be. I'm hoping this one was just a lemon, because I really hope that doesn't happen to that one. But yeah, um, just wanted to show this to you guys. Um, again, this is commemorating the, uh, the new Zippo logo right there. And I apologize, it's not very clean. <laughs> I didn't get around to cleaning it. But anyway, yeah, and there's its, it's little box. So guys, I think that's going to do it. I'm going to do a magic trick here, and I'm just going to bring the lighter up to y'all. And uh, I think we're going to end this video here, guys. So... Thank you so, so very much for watching it. Yes, standing desks. <laughs> Thank you so, so very much for watching it, everybody. And adios.